exam. Today's video is on Charlemagne and Kamala Harris. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And I know you heard a lot of people speak on it, but y'all know when we speak on it, we speak like it ain't never been spoke before. Now, let's start with the Charlemagne character, y'all, because he pretending to be real black media and everybody know he not. But the last time he interviewed Kamala Harris, he took a million punches to what little credibility, if any, he have left. Because I really don't understand who the hell watch a hip hop spectator talk about politics, goddammit. But I digress. Charlemagne is coming to this like, I gotta be a real host, goddammit, and make it look like I asked the tough questions that the radical left, aka the real black media, would ask, but as soft as possible. Kamala Harris coming into this like, comfortable as hell, y'all. You could tell she thought this was going to be another puff piece. She got a pillowcase full of talking points and Charlemagne got a posturepedic platform, goddammit. You got to be sleep to even watch that crap and she ready to sell you nothing but dreams and illusions. Now let's go to Charlemagne the fraud with the first question of the night. About some of that work because, you know, it's, it's, it's people like me that, that were motivated to vote for you and we feel as if you've disappeared. If not disappeared, been silenced. Is, is that the case? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear old Charlemagne? He said me and Roland feel like you abandoned us, goddammit. What's going on? Everybody online saying that you just abandoned us. Joe Biden don't even talk about black people no more. And I done helped fool all these black people into voting for you, goddammit. Then I called up Roland and he said... I called the motherfucker four motherfucker time. But the motherfucker won't call me back. Is rolling line or is the rumors true, goddammit? Did you use us? Not at all. I mean, even this week, uh, there were um, two things that I'm actually more than that, that I'm extremely proud of that has been the product of uh, months and months of work. One, something you and I have discussed before, uh, the issue of maternal health. Mm -hmm. Your favorite channel, favorite channel. Do y'all see how dismissive she was to her disappearance? Now I know Charlemagne asked her about the work that she doing in the White House, but she was totally dismissive about her disappearance. Talking about, oh, not at all. Then jump right into maternal health. And I clicked it all right there because you don't need to hear all the stories she gonna tell. But I'll break it down for you anyway. After maternal health, she talked about lead pipes forever. Everybody, y'all. Access to capital for everybody, y'all. You know that same old minorities talk, that people of color talk, that underserved communities type bullshit, goddammit. And of course, public transit, because don't none of us own a car. But she talked about it for everybody, goddammit. Kamala Harris just went through not what she did for the black base, not what Biden did for the black base, but what she trying to do for everybody. Everybody, y'all, you are witnessing a rebel network. Next question. Absolutely. You know, you know, you get a lot of criticism, you know, more criticism than any VP I've seen in recent memory. But there's nothing you've done on your worst day as VP that compares to, you know, Mike Pence's worst day as VP. But you seem to get crucified for every little thing in the media. Why, why do you think that is? You think the criticism comes from you being a black woman, a woman of color? Now, if you ask me, that's a soft question, y'all. It worked both ways. It can paint Kamala Harris as a sympathetic figure. It can also paint Charlemagne the Fraud as a person who asked the tough questions that the black people want to hear, goddammit. But of course, Kamala Storytime Harris couldn't even get that right. Get to her response. I think that, that you know, there is definitely a healthy discussion that I will leave others to have about that, but I'm going to be focused on the work and I will not be distracted. It's okay to say yes. We see it. <laughs> it's okay. Now, I, I know you wanted to speak on the Build Back Better plan too, but, uh, you know, it seems like once again, Senator Joe Manchin is stopping progress on that. Why? There you go, boys and girls. There you go. Everybody who living vicariously through Kamala Harris. There you go. Right fucking there, goddammit. You too can grow up to not speak for yourself. You can allow others to have a discussion about how unfairly you've been treated, goddammit. 
Even I would have agreed, y'all. Even I would have agreed that she being treated misfairly. But guess what? She couldn't speak up for herself, y'all. Do you think Mike Pence would have not spoke up for himself? That dude would have said, fuck MSNBC, fuck CNN, fuck Biggie, fuck bad boys, a staff, record label, and as a motherfucking crew. Quickly, quickly, goddammit. Even Charlemagne had to say, you know what? It's okay to say yes. Say yes, motherfucker. Just say yeah. It's all right to do that, motherfucker. But no, she's so scared. And then that man was like, well, look, what's happening with uh, Joe Manchin, you did? You know that dude who y'all manufacture? That dude who the reason why y'all Y'all can't do nothing for black people, period. What's up with him? But do you think that Kamala Harris gonna hop on that, y'all? Do you think she gonna take the easy bait and diss the boogeyman that they manufactured as into why they can't do nothing for black people and keep on trying to pass everything off that they doing for everybody as something that they specifically doing for black people by pointing out small numbers to say, this percentage of black people gonna get help. Well, we What's the percentage of whites, Asians, Latinos, and everybody else? Because if they getting the same kind of help, then everybody remains stagnant. And if everybody remains stagnant, we remain at the bottom of the fucking poverty barrel. Kamala Harris, but will she jump on him, y'all? Do you think she gonna jump on him and take the bait? Let's see. So Build Back Better is saying, let's bring the cost of childcare down. Pay, that, that working families, families shouldn't have to pay more than 7% of their income in, in child care. We're saying prescription drugs are too expensive. We know, you and I know, I have family members who have diabetes. You are witnessing a rebel network. Yeah, you heard her right. She totally dismissed anything having to do with Joe Manchin. Even though the Democrats paying MSNBC, CNN, and the rest to act like What's his face? Uh, Joe Manchin is the big bad boogeyman. All y'all been telling everybody is he the boogeyman. He the boogeyman. He's stopping every goddamn thing. And then when this man asks you about this boogeyman, you still jumping all over it. Talking about build back better, which is for everybody. You heard, huh? Cost of living for everybody. And just in case you might think I'm just skimming through stuff and playing it, I'm going to break it down. She said she talked about child care for everybody she talked about prescription drugs for everybody she talked about elder care y'all for every goddamn body which means you remain at the bottom of the barrel once again next question Charlemagne. but where's the pushback on senator joe manchin why is he allowed to constantly hold up president biden's agenda that boy Charlemagne really going in today, huh? He really not letting her duck that question, people. His credibility on the line. I feel him. Your credibility is on the motherfucking line, goddammit. You got to convince these white people that people still follow you, which means you got to convince these niggas to still go out and vote. His credibility is on the line. It ain't like he doing nobody no goddamn favors. He's still throwing her a easy fish, goddammit. Every Every network done drugged this man named through the rug, but she refused to take the easy motherfucking fish, y'all. Instead, Kamala Harris will bury herself. Watch what she proceeds to do. You know, folks know we have the White House as Democrats, the House and the Senate. In the House, we have as Democrats a majority, I believe as of today, it's by three votes um, out of hundreds of people. In the Senate, where there are 100 senators, we are split 50-50 in terms of the Democrats or independents who caucus with the Democrats and the Republicans. And that makes me, as the president of the Senate, the tie vote. You are witnessing the rebel network. Did y'all notice that gasp at the end when she went, <sighs> it was like a, <sighs> at the end y'all know what the hell she was thinking at that moment in time because i could tell she was she was thinking you know fucked up you know that don't you i see what i'm saying I, no yeah, you done fucked up. Yeah, you done fucked up, goddammit. You just not told everybody you the goddamn tiebreaker, which means the Republican boogeyman is irrelevant. Talk about the Democratic boogeyman. You know, the one that MSNBC, CNN, and ABC been saying is blocking all of the progress y'all supposedly trying to make. 
And we all know that y'all paid them to say that, God damn it. Where's the pushback? Why you refuse to diss him? Because she have undying loyalty, God damn it. Next question. I agree Republicans are blocking progress, but when I think about it, it's like we went out, black people, we voted, got Democrats in the White House, got Democrats the Senate, but it seems like a Democrat, Joe Manchin, is always blocking progress. Like, if there's no hope in making Joe change, like, why not say that so at least we know who the problem is? Because I feel like you get villainized the way I feel Senator Joe Manchin should. Me, personally. In the media, you get villainized for <laughs> silly things like earbuds when he's actually stopping progress. Why not just tell people that so we know who the problem is? You are witnessing a rebel network. Y'all, he practically begging her to take the easy scapegoat. But she got to prove that she is a loyal team player and refuses to diss a Democratic white supremacist teammate, goddammit. Even though them people will throw her un under the goddamn bus at any time, goddammit, and at any speed around this motherfucker so she can keep rolling down the street. He please, why not just tell people that? That is him so we can know please he begging her y'all but you know old kamala story time harris god damn it she just can't take a hint the problem is we have right now in america a party i'm not talking about all republicans but the republican party that is drawing a line and and basically standing in the way of what is in the best interest of all the people on the issue of voting for example and i can't talk about this enough so you still don't get it, huh, Kamala Harris? The Republican boogeyman story is not a valid response, goddammit. We know all y'all worried about is the voting rights crap, goddammit, because you got to keep the niggas voting. We know y'all worried about that. And by the way, y'all, Bill Back Better is going to pass. The Voting Rights Act is going to pass, y'all. Anything that they have proposed is going to pass right before the election, though. So don't be fooled by any of this crap by the way the voting rights bullshit that's nothing but a scare tactic to have you thinking oh man they trying to take away our right to vote now nah, now nah, i know i said i wouldn't gonna vote but now they trying to take it so i gotta be alarmed now nah. no we not falling for the bullshit you dig we not falling for the bullshit if you want to take the voting rights act which is really for immigrants you know the ones that y'all let come through the border you know only the light-skinned ones only the Mexican ones that y'all let come through. That's what them voting rights really for, by the way, God damn it. But they want you to fall for the bait and be scared. Oh, they taking the voting rights. Well, guess what? Take your voting rights and flush them down the goddamn turley, God damn it. Because we don't give a shit about it, God damn it. So keep trying to wave them carrots around. Oh, they trying to take Bill Back Better and all of that bullshit. Bill Back Better is not for blacks. It's for everyone. Everybody, God damn it. But let's continue. Uh, it's, it's, um, I just want to know if this has to be our last question. Okay. What happened to that student loan money? What happened to the $10,000 promised to the, to the students with student loan debt? Why did they renege on that? So I know you had Secretary Cardona on recently, and, and I'll tell you, he is working to, to increase relief for students. And I, you know, look, I get it. I get the issue that you're talking about. I, I had... I had student loans. I mean, look, it's right now we have so many people, tens of millions of people in, in the United States who are dealing with student loan debt and responsibilities. And it, it's standing in the way of them being able to start a family or buy a home. And it's real. And we need to deal with it. Um, you know, I remember I'm going to date myself, but, you know, I had that little coupon where I'd have to pull out the coupon and, and put in the number and send a check with it every month. And, and that's real. Yeah, that's real. But you fake as hell. Y'all heard Simone, I thought you was fired, Sanders. Oh, this the last question, nigga. We ain't come here for no real journalism. You tripping like a motherfucker up here asking us real questions and shit. Yeah, she knew that shit was going south real fast, y'all. Then after that, what we got? Another story time with Kamala Harris, goddammit. I heard a student debt. A student debt was over there. I signed my student debt and a student debt, this, that, and the third. Get your lame story storytelling ass out of here god damn it but let's get to the part that i'm sure everybody's seen already you know we need you to be the superhero that saves democracy 
Somebody has to push back on Joe Manchin. That guy is stopping progress. He's ruining democracy. Are you willing to be that superhero? Because what scares me is if voting rights don't pass or the Build Back Better plan doesn't pass or police reform doesn't pass, I doubt you're going to get black people to go out there and vote in 2022 and 2024. And, you know, Trump will be president again. What, what's the plan for all of that? Yeah, I know it wasn't the arguing part, God damn it. but you got to hear this too. I like to play the whole shit. That way we break down what everybody not talking about. But did you hear this clown? If voting rights don't pass for Hispanics, which is another carrot that they holding to right before the election, God damn it. If Build Back Better don't pass, which is for everybody, which is another carrot that they holding to right before the election, God damn it. If prison reform don't pass because we ain't nothing but criminals for everybody in jail which is another carrot that they dangling to right before the election if all of that don't pass god damn it black people ain't coming out to vote for y'all uh newsflash we not coming out to vote for them the small people already didn't come out to vote for them now they making sure that everybody who not too bright don't vote for them as well everybody who did vote for them fools have and buyer's remorse. You know the ones he been ignoring around this motherfucker. You know, the Amanda Seals, the Killer Mike, Ice Cube, and that man just wanted a conversation. You know, all them people who was vouching for him, who quiet now, goddammit. Nelly, all of them, they had everybody vouching, goddammit. Juvenile was out here singing songs for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Get the hell out of here. Ain't nobody falling for that bullshit no more y'all let's get to the next clip i couldn't agree with you more on the, the the seriousness of these issues and 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 how people take these issues seriously and so we're gonna have to keep fighting on voting rights we need to pass the john lewis voting rights advancement act we need to pass the freedom to vote act and be relentless about pushing for that which is what we have been doing and what i certainly am going to keep doing we need to keep pushing for what we got to do to to really you are witnessing the rebel network did you hear that story time with kamala harris i understand these issues these serious issues these issues that need to be heard issues 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 god damn it never answering a question y'all never answering a question just story time with kamala harris over and over and over again now let's get to the supposed fiery clip that everybody talking about who's the superhero that's gonna speak against joe manchin no i want to know who's the real president of this country is it by is it joe biden or joe manchin i'm sorry i just want to interrupt and i don't think the vice president is here it's simone i'm so sorry Charlie. we have to she rap. she can hear me <laughs> can you hear me now can you hear me madam okay, vice president so i'm sorry you gotta rap Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry happening. to interrupt. They're acting like they can't hear me. <laughs> I can hear you. You see that? Charlemagne got everything on the line, y'all. If this show fails, Charlemagne is done. You understand me? So he have to dig in. He have to get her to take the bait. She just refused to take the bait. And then all of a sudden, Simone, I thought she was fired. Sanders jumps in, trying to act like she can't hear and shit. And you could tell, y'all, I don't know if you paid attention, you did, but Kamala was mad as hell once Charlemagne said they acting like they can't hear me you heard how she responded yeah I hear you it sounded like she wanted to say yeah I hear you you dirty motherfucker listen to him right quick <laughs> I can hear you I can hear you so who's the real president of this country is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden Madam Vice President come on Charlemagne I really I, it's Joe Biden I can't no, tell no, sometimes no 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 it's Joe Biden and don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe and, it's Joe and it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president, and my name is Kamala Harris. And the reality is, because we are in office, we do the things like the child tax credit, which is going to reduce black child poverty by 50% on track to do that. We do things that are about saying that our Department of Justice is going to do these investigations and require 
You are witnessing the Rebel Network. It should require for her to stop fucking lying, goddammit. She just not named nothing but shit that she trying to do, supposedly, goddammit. What she trying to do, supposedly. But let's break it down. She said, don't talk like a Republican asking if Joe Biden is running the country because you see him walking around talking about shit that ain't even going on. You ask Joe Biden, is the sky blue? Joe Joe Biden gonna respond with the dirt is brown, goddammit. He always off subject around here. Do y'all see him sometime? He just hop from talking point to talking point. The man eyes is barely fucking open. No wonder they call him Sleepy Joe. Is he fucking high or not? But anyway, around here, she quickly got that boy in line. And nigga, I'm Kamala Harris. You heard that? You heard that? And I'm Kamala Harris. Nigga, he Joe Biden. That's my daddy. And I'm Kamala Harris out here. He burned me. You see how quickly she got him in line? Fast as hell before she got to her story time about what they trying to do for everybody, by the way. For everybody. We about to do this for churn. That's going to affect black churn by 50%. And how much percent for the rest of the kids? God damn it. Because you're doing it for everybody. Stop trying to fool us. But of course, Kamala still didn't get it. She never does. And this is how she ended that little rant that she went on. I hear the frustration. But let's not deny the impact that we've had. And agree also that there is a whole lot more work to be done. And it is not easy to do, but we will not give up. And I will not give up. You are witnessing the Rebel Network, your favorite channel, favorite channel. You heard her. It's a lot of work to be done because everything that she just named here today has not been completed. It hasn't even been done. People like Joe Manchin said that they not signing that bill no matter what, God damn it. A lot of pundits around MSNBC, CNN, and even Fox is saying that that bill is dead, even though I think it's applauded by Joe Biden so he could get all of that off right before the election god damn it so you could be like yeah i'll vote for him because he got that bill back better through no matter what you understand me that's why she like we gonna fight to the end because they holding that carrot even though i think all of that going on god damn it i really think that this went left because kamala harris couldn't take the bait the fucking interview would have been very much easy if she had said you know what yeah joe manchin fucking up man we gonna try to have to talk to him, you know, say anything. Charlemagne was begging her, y'all. Look, man, my credibility on the line. Say anything so I could have these niggas thinking I asked the tough questions, but she refused to and instead just went off on her. I guess she thought, I mean, went off on that dude. I guess she thought to herself, oh, I'm gonna look tough, you know, for standing up for Joe Biden. But really, she looked as stupid as hell because you went when you go to Fox, they just like look at this debacle, goddammit. Look at this this debacle going on in the vice president office because y'all know they setting her up to be the fall guy don't you you know she out of here right you know booty judge is in right but look how Charlemagne ended this interview y'all i just want you to know that 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 madam vice president that that kamala harris that's the one i like that's the one that was putting the pressure on people in senate hearings that's the one i'd like to see more often out here in these streets Th thank you for joining us madam vice president I'm glad to be with you. I'm Absolutely. glad to be with you. Thank Appreciate you. you. Give Maya my right. love too and Doug. All right, you take care. Give your family my love. I want to see those babies. Absolutely. Thank you are witnessing the Rebel Network where we continue to disrupt the equilibrium of the perceived reality. And of course, y'all, we know that the voting rights going to pass, but really they pushing it for the immigrants that they letting across the border that's not Haitian. Anybody, if you're not black, goddammit, you can come across the border. Drugs can come across the border through Canada, goddammit. We understand that this is a distraction y'all everything gonna pass build back better is going to pass it's not for you specifically black people do not listen to kamala harris she's simply lying to you her and joe biden is hanging these three whack ass bills over your head so right before the election they can let it go through and act like they kept the fight alive for you the people but build back better is for everybody nothing specifically for blacks which means 
means everybody stays stagnant. And if everybody stays stagnant, y'all, we stay at the bottom of the barrel, y'all. Charlemagne had invested interest, y'all. He had to make sure that his credibility was obtained. And really, he did a good job because he did not let her off the hook. Do I despise him still? Of course I do. Do I know that he an operative? Of course I know he an operative, God damn it. But this is what happens when two sides of white supremacy clash. Charlemagne was supposed to represent the radical left, aka the real black media, God damn it. And he was supposed to ask Kamala Harris the cupcake questions. That's what she thought for surely you did. I'm going to just tell a story about how when I went to Detroit and saw the kids who want to be like me and we got to fix lead pipes and we got to do this and that for everybody and we got the child tax credit for everybody and all of that but Charlemagne did not take the fucking he did not take that for an answer because his credibility was on the line remember y'all if that show fell Charlemagne is done Last time he had this woman on, that shit really sunk him further than the events that transpired after that. You know, the YouTube beefs and all of that crap. But y'all, think about this though before I leave. Charlemagne, if you F, do y'all think Charlemagne should let Kamala Harris see his kid? Charlemagne, while well, I wrap this up, if you let Kamala Harris see your kid, you might as well vote for Joe Biden again no matter what he do. Once again, y'all holla at me. I meant sustained, not obtained, goddammit. And I know Miss Fairly is not a word. <laughs> Corrections, goddammit. Once again, y'all holla at me.